Hi guys, Lee here, aka Gravius. I'm here with a very quick video this time around. Uh, the reason being, it's a very, very basic game. Um, just a few minutes of gameplay will tell you everything you need to know about it. What am I playing? Well, it's Spy Hunter, which is released by US Gold in 1985. Designed by, uh, programmed by Denton Designs. Uh, it was an arcade conversion of a Bally Midway game that was released in 1983. Well, the game was designed originally by Bally to be. Oh, let's go as novice. It was originally designed to be a James Bond license, and uh, it was going to be one of the sort of iconic car chases through the countryside, and you're shooting the other cars, and um, you know, high speed, high jinks. Uh, but unfortunately, they couldn't get the license. So even though they developed it and put the music in and all this kind of thing. They ended up having to go back a little bit and just uh, tweaking it a little bit to avoid the uh, James Bond references. Which, I mean, to be fair, given the, the period that this was released in, they, they, you know, they never used to be particularly shy about copyright infringement, so that does make me wonder. Um, you know, maybe they just weren't quite ready to go up against the movie studios at the time. Anyway, so the result is you get this uh, top-down racing game which kind of feels a little bit like a shoot em up. Um, you have various different cars uh, and you've got to race through the scenery see these blue ones um, you can't shoot them the only way you can get rid of them is by dropping oil slicks or ramming them into the side uh, you have the red ones that have the spikes on the wheels And uh, the motorbikes, which are pretty useless. I mean, what you'll see here as well is, frankly, the... Well, I'm, I'm not even going to call it AI. The uh, the routines that control the other vehicles are janky, to say the least. I'm going to be very careful here, and I can get into a boat. And now we have a boat chase. Another iconic James Bond sequence. And, I mean, you know... I know it's harsh to say this, but I've already shown you pretty much the entire game here. There's no end to it. It's actually um, got no end. The arcade machine didn't have one either. Uh, you just keep going until you get a game over. Um, there was a sequel produced a couple of years later, and that apparently was really awful. Like, really, really awful. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's reasonable enough. It doesn't you know, it's 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 okay to play. The controls are a little bit janky, but uh, you know, it's a Spectrum game. There's a nice little bit of speed. The color clash is kept to a minimum. And oh, and you get these occasional helicopter bits as well. As you can tell, it's a 48k only game. Uh, we're very... Ooh, ooh, come on, come on. Ah, no. Uh, we're very sparse sound effects, no music. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm going to be brutally honest, it doesn't even have um, anything major on the, on the first sort of menu screen. There's no credits or anything like that. It almost seems like they're embarrassed of the game. And uh, if I just uh, if I just kill myself by here, because as I said, I wanted to keep this video fairly brief, you'll see that the game over is just a simple little thing. There, you don't even go back to the menu when you when you die. You just uh, start again. It's a little bit like um, you know nowadays on your mobile phones, you get these endless runners. So perhaps it was just ahead of its time, but I, well, I don't think so. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate that. If you haven't already, subscribe. I try and do videos every day now. And uh, see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.